Hello, Wiz readers. I am your wizard, Professor Brown, and today we've got another Easter-themed book for you guys. It's called Charlotte the Scientist is Squished. Now, I went to my local library and picked this book up. I think you guys are going to enjoy it just as much as I did. Let's dive in. Charlotte the Scientist is Squished by Camille Andros, illustrated by Brianne Farley. Charlotte was a serious scientist. Protective glasses, a lab coat, and a magnifying glass were her essential scientific equipment, plus a clipboard for important notes. Charlotte loved problems by conducting experiments that followed the scientific method. Ooh, do you guys know what the scientific method is? Look at Charlotte even has it on her wall. And Charlotte had a problem. Uh-oh. She was squished. A lot of family members, maybe. She was squished at the table. She was squished in the tub. And sometimes she was even squished on the toilet. Hey! It had become impossible to conduct her experiments. Her test tubes were taken, her beakers got broken, and her specimens were spoiled. Charlotte needed some space. Time to use the scientific method. Hmm, how do you guys think she's gonna use the scientific method? to help solve this problem. Step one, ask a question. How can I get some space around here? Step two, form a hypothesis. Hypothesis, if I can get rid of my brother and sisters, I will have room to be a real scientist. Hmm, sounds like a good hypothesis. Step three, test the hypothesis experiment. Mmm, vanishing cream. She tried an experiment to make everyone disappear, but it didn't work. She tried another experiment to make herself disappear, but that didn't work either. If she was going to get some space, she would have to go there. Oh, where's she going? Ah, that's right. Ah, space. Of course. Step four, make and record observations. Charlotte was no longer squashed at the table. She was no longer squashed in the tub and Charlotte could take as long as she wanted on the toilet. Observations, meal, check, bath, check, toilet, check, important experiments. Space was splendid. Finally, step five, draw conclusions. Okay. She had all the room she needed to conduct very important experiments using her protective glasses, lab coat, and magnifying glass. Her test tubes were tidy, her beakers looked brilliant, and her specimens were sparkling. Her hypothesis was correct. She finally had room to be a scientist. The only problem was there was no one to talk to at mealtime. No one to blow bubbles with in the tub. And what was Charlotte supposed to do when she ran out of toilet paper? Hello? Hello? Space was lonely. Back to step two. Form a new hypothesis. If I can have friends in space, then I won't be lonely and I can be a real scientist. Time for more experiments. 
Charlotte tried chocolate, but it was too tempting. The balloons kept floating away. And robot bunnies were poor conversationalists. They got ruined in the bathtub and tangled in the toilet paper. Boop, bop. Charlotte missed her family. She even missed being squashed. So she tried one last experiment. and reached a new conclusion. Charlotte did not need outer space. She just needed her own space. Mm. The end. So Wiz readers, there we have it. Charlotte and the scientist is squished. I hope you guys have a better understanding on the scientific method and enjoyed this book. As always, I will see you guys on the next adventure and have a wonderful day.